after all these years, as far as I'm concerned, war is really a form of insanity. It is Easter Sunday, 1945, and 22-year-old Harvey Drejos is one of 170,000 combat troops landing in Okinawa to fight in one of the bloodiest battles of World War II. You're in a different world. Your mindset is just where you are that day and, and to follow orders and to be able to survive. Nothing else enters your mind because there is nothing else. It, it's a hard time now, buddy. Under heavy machine gunfire, Harvey drops to the ground, nearly landing on a photo album. And I thought, golly, there's got to be photos in there and they've got to be valuable. So I tucked it in under my chest. Men all around him are getting hit. And I, I got blowed up by an artillery cell, the concussion. And I was knocked unconscious. Harvey survives the war. His many medals include a bronze star for heroism. He raises four children on a chiropractor's salary. And it is 74 years before he discovers the 80 photos he saved from the battlefield. Those are really valuable yeah. pictures. Harvey's health aide, Yuriko Moser, was born in Japan. So I said, can you read any of this Japanese? She said, no, that's old Japanese. But Yuriko knows who to ask. And see that it gets where it belongs to the families. Japan's NHK network tracks down the Nakamoto family in Okinawa. <laughs> <laughs> Harvey really gives me a lot of credit uh, for this, but I said, you know, I'm more like, I'm, I'm, I was just a messenger. Well, when you're in training, what do they do? They teach you hate and how to kill. But Harvey Drejos' last act of this war is one of love. We're all human beings, and we all have human feelings. And by God, if these pictures belong to families, they should go back. That's how it happened, and it worked out really nice. <laughs> <laughs>